you. Hi, I'm Christine. Welcome to Book Talk. Today we're discussing The Maze Runner by James Dashner. Yes, the first in a dystopian series. What else is new? Okay, let's take this off. If you have not read The Maze Runner yet, a group of teenage boys, they've been trapped in this area and all around them is a maze. And every day they try to work their way out of the maze, but it's not, not working out too hot. Our main character is a boy. He's around 16, 17. We don't really know because his memories have been wiped. All their memories have been wiped because that's just a thing that happens before you're allowed to be trapped. His name's Thomas. Yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, this is, wasn't my favorite. I like some parts of it, but I got a lot of issues with it too. And I'm gonna go into them in the spoiler section. If you don't want to be spoiled and you want to know if you should read this book, based on me, I would grade it maybe a 70% out of 100. But, you know, that's my opinion. A lot of people have loved it. You never know. Bye if you don't want to be spoiled. Okay. Okay, so let's let's discuss this. Well, let's start with what I liked about the book. I liked the story. It was very intriguing. I liked the character of Min Ho. And also, I liked the color scheme of the actual book, green and black. Very nice. I like it. Okay, let's start off with the title. The title is The Maze Runner, right? Thomas is not the Maze Runner because I'm thinking the maze is a maze that we're gonna crack eventually and find out and get out of it. But the maze is just a maze with dead ends. If you're talking about Minho, he's the Maze Runner. He's a Maze Runner. Thomas really just comes in and then they just figure out the puzzle. It's not, it's not the maze. Oh, bothered. That bothered me mostly because the rest of the book bothered me because of the writing style. Now, when I say writing style, I mean how repetitive that Thomas is. Thomas just, just repeats himself just over and over and over and over and over and over. So I want to stab him repeatedly and duct tape his mouth shut. Because maybe not eat, maybe sew it shut because duct tape can come off and Thomas is pretty feisty. In the beginning, we come up and he's talking to everyone, asking questions and they're like, oh, can't tell you. And he's like, God, I really just want to know. I'm so frustrated. No one's telling me anything. And then he'll ask another person, oh, no one tells me anything. And that'll just repeat about 15 times. We know you're frustrated. We're also frustrated as the reader. So you don't have to say it because we know. Shut up. Stop it. Also, we got the glad slang. Oh, you shuck, shank, shuck it, clunk. Those words, they don't roll off the mouth. Shank is like bitches, and you shanks, you bitches. Clunk is shit. You're not consistent with it. They'll be like, oh, I feel like crap. But why wouldn't you feel clunky if you're feeling crappy? You know what I'm saying? If you do, I'll break your shuck neck. I don't know what that means because apparently shuck means fuck. I'll break your fuck neck, that'd be I'll break your fucking neck. You're just, why didn't you say shucking? It doesn't go with your grammatical rules. Maybe they're trying to go for a PG-13 vibe, but you know, be consistent. Be consistent, consistency. Right in this same section, perfect example of how Tommy is a whiny little shank bitch. We're at this meeting. It's about Thomas, obviously, because everything revolves around Thomas. I'm sick of you guys talking about me like I'm not here. Next page. I love how you guys are just talking about me like I'm not here. <laughs> really? I didn't hear you say that two seconds ago, Thomas. When he wants to punch them, I've never wanted to punch someone as much as I want to punch him right now. A few pages later, I've never wanted to punch someone as much as I want to punch him right now. You know what, Tommy? You just said you never wanted to punch someone as much as you want to punch someone now. You can't say that again, because then never say never if you're not going to mean it. Then we got Newt, you know, Scottish guy Newt. I don't know. I talked to him with a Scottish accent. That's what I read him in. Newt, you know, he always stands up for Thomas. He says some nice things. Tommy is always like, oh my god, I wanted to stand up and cheer for him. Okay, that's good one time. Every time Newt says something, I just want to stand up and cheer. I want to stand up and cheer. If you want to stand up and cheer that much, stand up and fucking cheer. If not, sit down and shut up. Stop saying it. Oh, okay, okay, what's next? Ah, oh, Teresa. We knew we needed a girl here. Okay, we're just expected to trust Teresa because Thomas trusts her. I don't even trust Thomas. I don't know you, bro. He's got this thing, I must be a runner. I want to be a runner. Then there's no point to wanting to be a runner. So I didn't trust Teresa. I just gonna trust her to put in the letters at the end. This figuring out the whole thing. Thomas goes through the changing. Oh, finally we're gonna get to know Thomas. Who the kid really is. What happened in the past. Feel some connection. Then, we we don't get to see it. It just, he gets the changing. It was all dark. 
dark and then I knew everything. And that's that. You know, I we needed that. I I needed it. I don't know if you need it. I needed it. And then everything was just so easy. I you gotta put them on top of each other. I need wax paper. And then it just works. Float, bleed, death, push, sink. And I know he created the maze, but things just happened so oddly. The beginning was so slow and I was Mmm. Then we just all of a sudden took off. He ran to that maze, you know, and shut behind him. That part was exciting. I was more optimistic. Oh, things are gonna start happening. I'm gonna get into it. He's not gonna repeat himself anymore. But I don't know. I just know after that we came back and the same thing. It was the same Thomas. It's so irritating. Ugh. I like the psychic thing. I didn't like the actual characters, except for Minho. I really think it should have been told for multiple POVs. So we get to know the other characters and we feel like we know Thomas. It's not from first person, it's from third person. And I feel like this book really needed to be first person for me to relate to it because of how closed the people are. Chuck. Chuck and Tom's relationship did not feel like brothers to me. You were there for a week and they're brothers. It just felt so forced. It's hard to sympathize with the, the death at the end when you don't care about the relationship at all. I felt like it was a total overreaction. Oh, I feel so numb. Everything is gone, Chuck. I promise I'm gonna get you back to your parents. How could you promise that first of all? You have no idea what the outside word is like. You have no idea about anything, about anything. Second of all, that promise thing, he felt the need to repeat it when it was irrelevant. And then at the end, he's like, I promised him and I didn't follow through. So, so much forced want of crying. I love the backstory of what actually is happening. I wish we got that POV mixed in. I just really think we needed other POVs. Um, I don't know if you guys heard about it. I remember a million years ago, I heard a rumor that Taylor Lautner was signed on for the Maze Runner film. I don't know if that's a thing, that was just a rumor, or if that was actually real, if there was a movie, I don't know. But it's weird picturing him as Thomas, because I picture Thomas as this shuck face. I don't know if I, I honestly, right now, I don't want to go on, continue with the series, but if you guys think it's really, really worth it, because I've heard so much good stuff about it, that's why I had such high expectations, and they were just real crumbled, you know, crumbling. That moment when Thomas punched his fist, walking, we could do this. Oh, so, so bad, so cheesy, why? Also, Thomas wasn't funny. It tried to be, and it just was not hitting the mark. It, uh, the Grievers were named Grievers, and the Gladders were the people. Why couldn't we call them something with a different letter? To avoid confusion when the Grievers and the Gladders were fighting. I don't know. It just was a lot of build up for, for a lot of not. But that's just my opinion. A lot of people like the book. Let me know your thoughts and let me know how the second, third rated on your scale of scales of books. Yes. Thanks for watching. You guys are spectacular. Yeah, I'll see you next time.